Hello, Mrs. Diaz is back to teach you lesson 1.3, Observing and Recording Local Weather Part 2. Remember that in our last lesson, we learned all about observing and recording as scientists, especially as weather scientists. We also learned that local meant the weather around us now. So, we're going to continue with part two of this lesson and this time we're going to deal with a problem something that we need to try to figure out ourselves using all the tools that we have learned as scientists so all you need is good observation skills maybe a stuffy to listen to you or someone at your home that's willing to spend some time to listen otherwise you know that i am always here to listen Okay, let's begin. So we're gonna have an activity called Introducing and Discussing the Playground Problem. In this activity, last night, I received the most amazing email. In this email, they are telling me of a situation that is happening in two different schools. So the email says, Dear students, that's right, dear students, because they want, to, they want to give you the problem. They want you to figure it out because they know that you are weather scientists. So it says, hello from Carver and Woodland Elementary. We hear that you are learning to be weather scientists and we have an interesting weather problem for you. Wow, that's huge. Let's go on and see what else they want. Our schools are in the same area, but our students feel very different. Temperatures when they go out to the playground during morning and afternoon recess. Hmm. And it is not always comfortable for them. As principals, we want our students to be happy and comfortable. Hopefully, you can figure out why the two playgrounds get warmer in different ways. So let's think about this. They're in the same area, two different playgrounds, but they're feeling different temperatures. So the email finishes by saying, we look forward to hearing from you, Ms. Hood and Mr. Jenkins. That is one interesting problem. Let's continue and find out what other information we have. So, I'm going to show you a picture of the two playgrounds that the principal sent to me. And we are going to discuss, we're going to talk about it. You can talk to a partner, you can talk to me, you can talk to your stuffy. And we're going to see how are they different? How are they the same? What, what can we notice? What observations can we make? So the two playgrounds, they have different names. One is called the Carver Playground for that school and the other school at Woodland, Play the Woodland Playground. Sorry. So looking at the pictures, they look almost the same. I see the same type of equipment to play with. I see sun. I see one is lighter than the other. Did you notice the same thing? What else do you see that's different? I'll let you think. You can tell me. Yes, I noticed that too. Interesting. Let's go on further and see what else we have. So the principal sent us pictures to describe the temperatures in each playground. So let's take a look at that. Here are the pictures. So here we have Carver Playground. Let me fix this a minute, thank you. Here we have Carver Playground. And in this picture, you see that in the first column is nighttime and it's Carver Playground. In the Carver Playground, I can look at the picture before I tell you, I want you to look at it. I want you to think about whether it's cold, it's hot, whether it's daytime or nighttime. We know that this side is all nighttime. So 
So if we look at nighttime, do you think it's hot? Do you think it's cold? Let's make some observations. I think I got it. I think it looks cold and it's nighttime. And I know it's cold because if I look at the little boy in the picture, he's wearing a jacket. So yeah, it's cold. The next one is, and also at, and the woodland playground. So at nighttime, they are the same. In the morning, if we look at the picture, the boy looks like he's cold. He's still wearing a jacket. So I'm thinking that he's cold and maybe a little bit uncomfortable to play. If we look at the woodland playground, her jacket is not she as cold as the boy on the top. So I'm thinking that it's probably kind of nice and probably warm. Warm because I see sun. I see that she's comfortably dressed. So I can assume that it's warm and comfortable. In the afternoon, I can also see in Carver now in the afternoon is warm and comfortable. While in the morning, it was cold and uncomfortable. Here at the Woodland Park, let me move my picture so you can see. Do you notice that in the morning it was comfortable and it was nice and warm and kids were okay? Here I can see by the way he's dressed that it is very hot. And he's wearing shorts and he's going like this. Usually that means I'm hot. So he looks hot and uncomfortable. Did you see the same things that I saw? Okay, let's move on and see. Let's see what they're telling us now. I'm gonna move myself so you can see me better. All right. When scientists have a new problem to figure out, they think about what ideas they already have. Let's share our ideas about why the playgrounds get warmer in different ways. So here, if we take a good look at this, it says, why do you think the playground gets warmer but in different ways? Why do you think so? With everything that you have learned, why do you think two playgrounds get warmer but in different ways? Let's just think. I just want you to think. What ideas did you come up with? Those sound really interesting. Let's continue and find out what else we can notice. So here it says, what do you think? Both playgrounds were cool that night and warmer during the day. Why? What is gonna make those playgrounds a little bit warmer? What is the difference between the nighttime and the daytime? At nighttime we have the moon. In the daytime we have the sun. And one thing we know about the sun is that the war the sun will make things warm, right? And the moon will make things cooler or cold. So what do you think, why do you think the playgrounds were warmer in the afternoon than they were in the morning? What do you think? You know what I think? I think that the longer the sun stays around, the warmer things are going to feel. Just like when you put the oven on, in the beginning it starts getting warm, then it gets warmer, then it gets hotter. Well, that's what the sun does. The longer it remains around, the warmer the place is going to feel. So here we have the afternoon same thing 
why do you think that woodlands is warmer than carvers during the day? Why do you think? Any ideas? I'm not going to give you the answer. We're going to think about it, okay? And in the upcoming lessons, we're going to learn more about this. But for right now, when we're done with this lesson, you could write down your ideas. So, scientists think about cause and effect. Something has to happen in order for things to change. Okay? So we have the cause and then what changes. So cause and effect is when one thing, the cause, makes another thing, the effect, happen. The principles have shown us an effect. The effect is that the playgrounds both get warmer, but one gets even warmer than the other. We need to figure out the cause. We need to figure out what makes the playgrounds get warmer, but in different ways. That's a lot, right? But you can do it. I know you can. So. We have, interesting, we have a very interesting new problem to solve. Why the two playgrounds get warmer, but in different ways. So as scientists, we're gonna use all the tools that we can use, all of our senses. We're going to continue to investigate. We are going to read. We're going to think, and we're gonna use all those ideas that we've learned until now. So in our next upcoming lessons, we're gonna continue trying to figure out this big question. Why do two playgrounds that are in the same area feel different at the same time? Okay, so next time we meet, we're gonna know a lot more and you're gonna be full of ideas to share with me. Meanwhile, stay safe, stay curious, and keep investigating. Bye-bye. Take care.